Hi, this is a demo working with uh, form butter comments and reply starting from a CPQ quote. So um, in this case, we actually want to send out a quote or a, a contract to the customer and in that contract, uh, the customer might have some remarks, objections, things that they want to have changed and they want to actually have a communication way, uh, not via email, but a structured communication way towards the uh, sales rep. Let's start with generating uh, the docx file. So I'm going to generate the docx file because that's the file that the uh, sales rep might uh, want to change if uh, they uh, yeah if they need to make changes. Then I'm going to send out the request to the customer. So that's the form request. Uh, the customer will now receive an uh, an email and a new form request is uh, created. So let's uh, copy. Let's open the form request. Let's, I'm going to, uh, yeah, for demos uh, sakes, for demo purposes, I'm going to just copy the link here. Normally, the uh, customer would receive an email, obviously, and I'm going to paste that link in another window. So this is the customer that uh, they will see this uh, document and they will be able to read through the document via form butler. Um, on this document, they can add comments and they can say, for instance, well, I don't want the first start date to be the 1st of April. Uh, can it be the 1st of May. Okay, submit this comment. Uh, then he wants another comment saying, well, this uh, fee over here, I don't like it. Uh, it's $50 uh, fee. Let's, uh, can you make it $25? So, okay. The customer has submitted his uh, feedback towards um, towards the sales rep, and the sales rep can be, of course, notified that there is now some feedback. So everything is nicely registered in Salesforce. As you can see here, uh, the two comments are there, and we can actually, with a flow, run through all the comments and easily uh, uh, provide feedback to the customer. So let's uh, run through the comments. <clears throat> the first comment, can it be the 1st of May? Okay, that is uh, updated. So that's the, the first comment. And then of course we have to update it. So we're gonna update it directly here in the uh, um, in the quote. And I'm gonna put this the start date on the 1st of uh, May instead of the 1st of April. Okay, so that's already done. That's some changes in the, uh, in the data. Next up, they say, well, um, huh? this is updated. And then uh, for the $25, uh, consider it done. Well, the $25 is not something yeah, that we have, for instance, on the uh, as an as an uh, data on the quote. So it's actually something we have inside the document. So we're gonna regenerate the document with all the new data that we have just uh, filled in over here. So let's regenerate this document. <clears throat> And now we can go to the uh, new docx file because there was some data that we needed to update that was not in the docx file. So we just regenerated so the preview is not ready yet. I'm gonna download the document and I'm gonna edit the document. So in this document, you can now see that it says the 1st of May, 2023, exactly what we uh, what we wanted. And uh, this is the, uh, the the fee that was hard coded inside the contract. So we're just gonna change that fee right here in the Word document. So let's put this to 25 as the customer uh, asked for, and then I'm gonna save this document. Uh, next up is uh, what we can do is actually add a new version to this file. So we actually can keep all of the versions of the uh, the Word document and all of the edits that were done directly in Salesforce. So I'm going to say upload new version. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take the latest one. So the one that was uh, modified a minute ago. Okay. And then I'm just going to say changes from customer c form butter upload this document okay so this document is now uploaded there is a new version if you want to see all of the versions that were there on the file we can just go to the uh, file details and you can see that this is the latest version with the 25 dollars it's right here and that we have changed and all of the versions that were generated uh, with their comments are also there now we of course give a notice to the customer saying, uh, oh, uh, 
we first have to finish this one. So let's do next here. So all the comments have been uh, answered. Now the customer gets the notification that they can uh, go back to the agreement and then review the agreement again. So in this review, they now see, okay, uh, my update is done uh, or for the 1st of May, the, uh, um, the $25 as I requested, all is there. They scroll through the agreement, all looks good. And they just say, okay, this is now okay for me. I'm gonna submit it. So on the submit, um, of course, there is a, a status change in Salesforce. And if we go back to the view of the sales rep, the sales rep can see that now this is submitted and actually they can go back to the, uh, to the next steps. So obviously you can automate this even further and you can ease, uh, go automatically to a signing uh, step or you can automatically send out a signing towards the customer. But in this case, we let uh, the sales rep handle it and they go back to the, uh, to the quotes. And on the quotes, they can now say, yes, this is the uh, agreed PDF. So this PDF is now stored on the quote automatically. And this is the agreed PDF. I want to send it out for signing. So they just select the PDF and send it out for signing. So that's as how easy it can be done. Now, uh, obviously, there's going to be a sign request created. Uh, let's see, the sign request should be right here. So let's open up this sign request. And in this sign request, uh, you can see that it's uh, generated at uh, this right, this moment right now. That's the time on my computer. And uh, yeah, it's our comments and reply documents that we have over here. So we can take a look at all of the changes that we expected uh, are actually there. Mm -hmm. So 1st of May, $25. Everything that we expect is there. And there we can, of course, start the signing session from here. Again, the customer would have received an email. In that email, they would uh, they can just say, well, I'm ready to sign the document. And they would go off and, uh, and continue with the signing process as normal. So this is an example how from uh, Salesforce CPQ, from CPQ data, you can create a, a contract. Obviously, you can use much more data in that contract. You can make changes to that data. You can make changes to the Word document that was uh, created and then communicate that back to your customer and uh, work out all of the comments and the replies that this customer might have until you have an agreement that everybody uh, likes to sign.